Welcome to Coffee Break, five minutes with God, five minutes in the Word of God, five minutes designed to taste and see that the Lord is good. Reading today, Psalm 17, verse 1. Hear the right, O Lord, attend unto my cry. Give ear unto my prayer that goeth not out of feigned lips. It's important to be honest with God when we pray. Reverence and honesty are both important. Don't play games with God. Don't try to pull the wool over God's eyes. Just be honest with Him. Tell Him what's on your mind in a respectful way, always. But He already knows what you're thinking, so just be honest with him. <clears throat> Verse 2. Let my sentence come forth from thy presence. Let thine eyes behold the things that are equal. So David has been falsely accused. And because of that, he is asking God to show everyone that he is innocent. That's very important to a man or woman of God. Their character is. Their reputation is. Because if you, as a Christian, don't have good character and a good reputation for character, you've got nothing. Now, you can't help it if the world doesn't like you or if lukewarm Christians don't like you. I wear that as a badge of honor. I don't go seeking it, but I know I've got it, and I'm fine with it. Believe me, I'd be worried if I didn't have that. But... It's like the Bible teaches. If people are going to slander you, if they're going to say bad things about you, things that accuse you of violating Scripture, just make sure that it's not true. Verse 3. <clears throat> Thou hast proved mine heart. Thou hast visited me in the night. Thou hast tested me and shall find nothing. I purpose that my mouth shall not transgress. You know, I, this is one of my favorite verses because I live this quite often. <clears throat> Excuse me. David says in his prayer, Thou hast proved me, proved mine heart. Thou hast visited me in the night. David got a spiritual checkup from God one night, and he passed. And if you can pass one of them nighttime checkups from God, you must be doing okay. If you can pass a nighttime conscience examination by God, you're probably in pretty good shape. During the day, when our minds are occupied with so many things, it's much easier to overlook Holy Spirit conviction than at night when all is quiet. Four, concerning the works of men, by the word of thy lips, I have kept from the paths of the destroyer. The word of God will suppress our sin nature, if we will think about it. By the word of God's lips, David overcame. That's talking about the word of God. The word of God will suppress our sin nature if we think about it or speak it during times of temptation. Five, hold up my goings in thy paths, that my footsteps slip not. He's asking God to keep him on track so that he doesn't mess up. The best way to start each day is to ask God to help you not to mess up. And it's best to ask him before you even get out of bed. Out of time, if you want to continue studying the Word of God with me, you can study the whole Bible from Genesis through Revelation using my audio Bible messages at thebibleversebyverse.com. And if you would like to be a part of this ministry, pray for me, pray for God's Word. When you take a break from studying, click the Donate button at the top of the front page at thebibleversebyverse.com and prayerfully give as the Lord may lead. See you next time on Coffee Break.